right, since this controversy erupted, there have been so many calls for Nuri Martinez to resign, not only by elected leaders, but also community members, and that's exactly what has just happened. Take a look at the statement that Martinez released a short time ago. Um, it announced her resignation, effective immediately, saying in part, as someone who believes deeply in the empowerment of communities of color, I recognize my comments undercut that goal. Going forward, reconciliation will be my priority. I have already reached out to many of my black colleagues and other black leaders to express my regret in order for us to heal. I ask for forgiveness from my colleagues and from the residents of the city that I love so much. Now, here's a portion of that leaked audio where Martinez made racist comments toward Councilman Mike Bonin um, and his adopted son. This was at an MLK parade. It's like the oddest thing, it's like black and brown on this floor. The kid is bouncing off the effing wall on the floor, practically tipping it over. There's nothing you can do to control him. Why is he trying to go? This kid is a beat down. Like, let me, let me take him around the corner and then I'll bring him back. Now, that parade was back in 2017, and in attendance again was Bonin, his husband, and their child, who were on a float at the time. Martinez, in that rec recording, also referred to the child as a monkey. The councilman, in a statement, called the comments vile and disgraceful and said that, quote, Martinez attacked her son with horrific racist slurs and talked about her desire to physically harm him. Now, Martinez was also rec recorded during a meeting in 2021 with other top Latino members of city council. Council, as well as a high ranking county labor leader making derogatory and racist remarks about colleagues, namely LA County DA George Gascon, using an expletive and saying he's with the blacks. The conversation focused mainly on frustration with maps that were proposed for redistricting and concerns over loss of economic assets in current districts. Councilman Mitch O'Farrell just spoke out on this matter. I think that this is a moment of reconciliation for all of us. Um, what we do when no one is looking is the definition of integrity. And this is a violation of that, of that meaning. It's a violation of the trust that we've all given uh, our, our colleagues. Uh, and it's just a really sad... <sighs> It's a devastating day for Los Angeles. Now it's unclear who um, recorded this material or why it has now been leaked. We've been inundated with responses by so many city leaders all day. Uh, it's We don't have enough time to share all of them with you, but it is important to point out that Mayor Eric Garcetti responded in a statement saying, quote, there's no place in our city family for attacks on colleagues and their loved ones, and there's no place for racism anywhere in Los Angeles. George Gascon also said in a statement that he was um, saddened and disappointed by these racist comments and that anti-blackness has no place in Los Angeles. That's the very latest here in downtown Los Angeles. Kareem Winter, KTLA 5 News.